the wave is um, a multi-narrative novel which uh, has three separate strands that uh, kind of join up at various points. Uh, the first, the first strand of this is about a character called Mew who uh, receives a script in the post uh, from Brazil, but he doesn't know who sent it to him or, or why he's received it. And he starts a, a quest to try and discover the, the sender of this script and uh, what what it's all about. And uh, as he as he sort of investigates, he slowly loses the plot a little and goes into a sort of strange underworld of uh, the city that he lives in. Uh, meanwhile, the second strand is written in a film script format and it deals with a publisher and a literary agent called Up and Down. And the literary agent Up is pitching a novel, a manuscript uh, called Mew, which is the, the name of the character in the first strand, uh, to, the, to the publisher, but he, he's, he, he's not really interested in commissioning it and uh, slowly they, their previous relationship comes to the fore and they, uh, they sort of go back over their, their past relationship. Um, uh, the third strand is uh, the start, which I, I started reading yesterday, is dealing with a, a real life character called David Baum who was a physicist and was expelled from the United States in the 50s because of his links to communism. And it follows his kind of journey as he tries to create a theory about quantum physics and how it relates to the uh, sort of underlying nature of reality. And he kind of struggles with being expelled from the States and living in, in Brazil and developing this theory. And, slowly the, the three strands kind of merge in a way uh, towards the kind of final conclusion. I mean one of the reasons I chose David Baum as a character, I, well, firstly I wanted to have a, a narrative that was based on historical fact, so there was, as well as fiction, there was an element of, of, of fact, whatever fact means, but the, the kind of concept in quantum physics of, of uncertainty and the observer kind of creating the observable world, world is that, that's something that David Baum was like focused on a lot in his, his work and later in life he kind of got more involved with Eastern mysticism and Buddhism and philosophies around how the observer and the, the real world are, are related so I think I, I, he, I, he seemed just like the perfect character to, to put into that narrative and yeah I think there is something in, in fiction that obviously the, the reader of any narrative is plays a part in what they construct out of it and in the same way that lots of theories in quantum physics play on that idea of the sort of dividing line between the observer and reality being not necessarily as clear cut as a natural assumption is when you kind of look at it in more, in more depth. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think that's kind of what I would, with the whole book, I was like to kind of play around with the idea of, of 